for another episode of Sacto Active Rock. We usually have an interview first and then watch the band play, but I think this band's so hot, let's try something different and have the interview at the end. So why don't you guys watch Prayer Wheel. This band is great, so stay tuned. Turn up the TV. You just explode, okay? You just spontaneously combust back there. Mine's right there. Udog bua thong Ba nai nai tom เป็นสนมตรมยาแต่เป็นดอกผู้ผ้าพริศนาหน้าดูยามเมื่อเช้าตรู่หมู่แมงแสวงไข่โอ้ดอกบัวทอง
This one's for Jonah, and it's called Winged Me.
back and that was prayer wheel and see i was right you know wasn't i right they, they're great so let's talk meet the guys and let's let's they're embarrassed now uh, let, let's have them introduce themselves and we'll talk about the music and just sort of the general philosophy behind the band can't talk hi uh, my name is eric and uh that was uh prayer wheel uh, we kind of do our own thing uh I really don't know what to say. I'm glad that everybody, I'm the self-appointed spokesman, obviously. Uh, now we're introducing ourselves right uh, now. Well. So. so you need to relinquish the mic and give it to someone else now. Um, my name's Truman, and obviously I sing. Dan, I play bass. Norm. Norm plays guitar. <laughs> OK, Norm. Um, let's talk about the music, uh, especially the last song sounded very interesting. Um, Everything's Broken, is that the title? Uh, could you talk a little bit about what that was all about? Well, it uh, started out, Dan brought this bass line in, and we just uh, were freeform jamming at practice, and uh, Indian lyrics have always been something that I've flirted with. And, uh, actually, it's more like a native thing, for even forget the Indian stuff, it's just a native sense, a sense back to the primal, the tribal, where we all came from, that type of thing. It, it you know, it spans, it incorporates African black, and, and Native American Indian, and Eastern Indian, and, and Mexican, and... Uh, you know, it's really kind of intercultural, I think. All so. sort of indigenous. Yeah, and this has a more American Indian slant to it. I mean, it's, it's talking about what's happening on the reservations today, you know, mm -hmm. uh, where they don't even have running water or inside plumbing, and people think that only exists somewhere in, in, in Indonesia or something, and, and it's right here at home. You know, it's probably like 100 miles from your house. If you live in Wyoming or something, it's closer. You know? Yeah. Do you think your music will have any kind of positive effect on the listeners? Do you think a fan would come and maybe walk away with any kind of a message or anything? You're, 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 you're just, even that, you know, good group. Good group. I think that's about the, the, the secret to the whole thing, as long as everybody has a good time and walks away wondering what it was all about, basically. We're trying to get a real unique sound going so that people definitely remember us after mm -hmm. they see us. I know, for, I think... For me as a fan, when I go see a band, I usually try to just get the big picture. Um, if I wanted, some people have come up to me afterwards and said, wow, I really like you know, these lyrics or something. They actually recite part of them. I'm like, oh, man, that's intense concentration. Um, I don't think people are going to get that. But I think like if they buy a tape or, or you know, if we ever got an album deal and we had an album out, then they could sit at home and you sit at home and listen to it like 100 times or whatever. Then you might be able to get something deeper. I mean, I think that those levels apply. Mm -hmm. you can, go as many different levels as you like. Start out superficially, sure, you know, you come out, music hits you, makes you feel something. Take it from there. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, where, how did the band's name come about? Or let's talk really quickly about your origins. I know you were from some other bands, Dam Hoover and Renka. And, um, where, how did you guys um, all get together for this project? I was project? planning to defect to Dam Hoover. And during <laughs> the uh, drives to rehearsal with Truman, um, we ended up organizing this band instead with uh, with Eric. Neither of us were happy with either band. And oh. out of those drives and long talks, this came about. And uh, ten drummers later, um, we're going to change drummers again, but <laughs> we'll have stay to line up by the end of the month. But for now, this is it. Right. Okay. And then the name of the band came from? Oh, uh, basically, uh, Prayer Wheel. It's it's the Tibetan Buddhist thing. I've just been real interested in religion, but it just seemed like a catchy thing. We wrote down like a hundred things on a piece of paper <laughs> and just kept looking over it and over, and that one stood out to kind of the most people who were kind of impartial. They said, oh, that's kind of interesting, so we uh -huh. kind of stuck with that and uh -huh. seemed to be happy with it. It seems to sort of actually it fits with sort of some of the mystical tendencies or the vibe that the band puts out, so it works. Uh, well, what were some of the other songs that you had done? Oh, uh, we started out with uh, what I saw, and the second song was called If. Then, um, yeah, the l the third song was the the newest song that we've written. And it was called Winged Me, and What's the new song that we finished. And that's it's about my grandmother, but I don't know. It's, it's about more than that. I mean, I don't know. Um, and then the last, uh, the fourth song of that set was uh, was called Breathe, and then that the, the Indian acoustic song that you referred to before. Um, was called Everything's Broken. So, those are the so is the music who writes the lyrics or the music? Is it all group effort or? Uh, oh, a fragmented group effort. Group fragmented. Effort. Sometimes uh, it comes from uh, Eric Rye. Sometimes it comes from Norm. It's no real yeah. steady formula. We don't have. Def Truman does all the words. We just kind yeah, of, the rest of it just kind of spills out all on its own. And so the words are Truman's, yeah. basically coming humble. Yeah. yeah. So what? <laughs> <laughs> what are the what are the plans for the future? Where are you? Um, Taking this, are you planning to record any demos soon, or do you have a demo? And 
Uh, we can't. If you have a demo, we can't say where you can buy it or anything. But, <laughs> <laughs> but do you have anything like that? Well, we don't have anything yet, but hopefully, um, that's definitely where we want to move. There's a, yeah, there's a local indie label, I guess, that we can't name <laughs> because yeah. of the program. But uh -huh. we think we'll be moving something in about February or March. Oh, really? Yeah. Great, great. So you'll be going to the studio then. So what's the future hold? I mean, do you have pretty major aspirations, or where yeah, are we yeah. going? Yeah. All the way. Definitely. Hopefully. All the way. Yeah. Major aspirations, but who's to say what's <laughs> on the line? I mean, many things can happen here and there. I mean, we've already dealt with the exploding drummer thing with this band, and you know, going through ten different drummers in the last few months, and the last project that Dan and I were involved in, everything kind of fell apart right when it was just starting to pick up a lot of speed, so there's no... There's no telling what the future holds, whatever. Where's, the, where's your influences? Um, or what, what does the music um, come from? What, what kind of music do you guys listen to at home? I mean, what? A lot of King Crimson, a lot of Primus, but um, anything from there to thrash to jazz, um, no real preference. Uh -huh. Just like that. I think it's one of the common things that all that all the whole band has in common is like everybody has really really diverse listening things that we some of us like some some of the same things and everybody I think has a collection that kind of ranges everything from classical to punk rock just about and then you know but we all like certain things that other people hate and so it all kind of works out everybody gets to throw in their two cents worth I so very eclectic I think it turns out in the music too the very diverse um, Hopefully. influences yeah definitely yeah. you can you can't say oh they sound like this because you don't you sound like your own neat original sound so I'd like to <laughs> that was intelligent um, um, I'd like to uh, wrap everything up tonight for Sacto Active Rock and thank you so much for being out here this was like thanks a really a good show I was thanks Liz great performance and um, so check out Prayer Will sometime at a club near you. I'm sure they're going to be gigging quite around, um, quite around lately. So thank you and goodbye for Sacto Active Rock. <laughs>